My friends and welcome back to Shea Supsic. Today we are in the garage winery. Right out here, outside the door, it is starting to warm up, but Mother Nature isn't quite ready to play nice yet. It's rainy and kind of cold today. That could leave a lot of people feeling crabby. No worries, because wine has the cure for the crabbies. In fact, we have about five pounds of snow crab legs here. We're gonna cook them up and show you how to pair them with some great wines. Let's go. Crustaceans are sweet and briny and typically accented with simple flavors like lemon and butter. And that's exactly how we're going to approach our wine selection. This sparkling white wine from Russia is crisp, acidic, and slightly sweet. Lean and citrusy Chardonnays from the Burgundy and Chablis regions of France will wake up most crustaceans just like a slice of lemon. Slightly more zesty, oaky, and buttery we have a California Chardonnay. And while we're at it, we might as well throw in a wild card, a sweet and tart Sauterne from France. Tonight, we're going to have a little fun with our appetizer. We want to show you that you don't have to follow the old rule of pairing white wines with white meats and fish. Pan con tomate, or bread and tomato, is a Spanish specialty that's usually served with sparkling cava. But the sweet and fruity flavors of this dish might be a perfect pairing with our Russian bubbly. <laughs> So we're warming the water up right now. It's not quite to a boil, but you can actually flavor your crabs a little bit, or any seafood for that matter, by throwing a little bit of uh, fresh herbs into the water. So that's what I'm gonna do. While we're waiting for this baby to boil, I'm gonna take some of this, fresh thyme. I'm just gonna chuck it in the water. And that's gonna add a nice fragrance and nice aromatics to our crab. Crabs have arrived and so have our guests. Time to start pouring the wine. Ooh, that came right out. <laughs> the beauty of a pairing like this is that it doesn't take a lot of time or effort to put together. It only takes one bite and one sip to understand what the fuss <laughs> is all about. It's amazing, there are no words. <laughs> Heaven. You look so happy right now. <laughs> There's some kind of magic happening in my mouth right now. <laughs> the clear winner for me so far is the Puy Fuisse. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, it's an amazing compliment to the sweetness of the crab. I, I don't think there's anything better than this pairing. <laughs> I think the sparkling complements the bread a little bit better than the crab and the Chardonnay is, complements the crab a little better. The California wine I like on its own, but it's a little too soft, I think, to pair with the crab. Like, it doesn't, the softness of the crab and the softness of the wine, just kind of, there's no magic in my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but with the, the French wine, because it has a little bit more of that acid, um, it really, that magic is there. Right. Oh. Yeah. So we have a sauterne here, which is... <laughs> We 
we might as well try some stuff that's already open in the refrigerator. We have this Sauterne. This is from the southwest of France and it's a sweet wine made from rotten grapes, believe it or not. The sweetness here from this seafood might pair really well with the Sauterne, so I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Is it good? Yes, it is. For being someone that doesn't eat seafood, like ever, uh -huh. this like is incredible. And I really, I haven't felt like I needed butter. Like I've always, every time I've tried seafood before, I feel like I need the butter to like make it taste decent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to be able to swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like paired with the wine, especially just it's like it, it's meant to be it's together. Meant to be. It's yeah, a beautiful. It really pairing. is. It really is. Yes. Yeah. So like there's a party in my mouth, right? and everybody's invited. <laughs> Hey, well once again, everybody's having a great time back here and that's the key, that's why we do this. It's really to bring people together. But on top of that, we want everybody to have a great experience tasting food and wine together too. We had snow crab tonight, you can do king crab, you can probably do lobster and you can also do shrimp too. And these would all work with the wines that we had tonight. The key is to let the seafood flavors come out and speak for themselves. And then the wine serves as an accent on top of that. I would stick with the whites. Chardonnay works particularly well, and I think tonight the Volt was hands down for the French Chardonnay. Probably because it's a little bit more lean, less oaked, less buttery, and a little bit more acidic, which really accents the seafood flavors in that crab. So I hope you learned something from watching us do this tonight, and maybe you'll be inspired to go out and experiment for yourself too. Have a great night, and thanks for joining us. Uh, we tore that up.